Hey, Brian here with worshiptutorials.com. In this video, we're gonna learn how to play the song Graves Into Gardens by Elevation Worship and Brandon Lake on acoustic guitar. A few things to note about this song, it's in 6-8 time, so uh, if you're not used to playing in 6-8 time, this will be good practice. It's not too bad. If uh, Most songs are in 4-4 four, four that we do in churches anyway. Uh, a few are in 6-8, so if you're a beginner, uh, that's one thing to note, um, but I'll cover it. The next thing is on the album version that Elevation Worship put out, they do this in the key of B, which I find really high. So there's a link below for the uh, acoustic playthrough video that we did. In that video, I played it in G, which makes it a lot easier to sing, quite a bit lower. I'm gonna do it in G uh, for this tutorial as well, but if you wanna play along to the album, put a capo on your fourth fret, and play the same chords I'm gonna teach you in this song. So the chords in this song are G. You can play this, this would be like a G major, or this would be like a G sus four, or two, one of those two. I'll put the chord diagram up, it'll tell you what it is. So those are the two variations. Uh, it really doesn't matter, you can interchange them. I use them both in different places in the song. You can do what you want. C, here's the C major, or this would be like the C alternate version of it, E minor, like this, or like this, D, and I play this D sus too most of the time. So now I play this D here, also in the verse, I like to play it like this, so it would be, it's still a D, it kind of gives you this sense of tension. To play that, you would play your C major chord, slide everything up two frets, okay? And there's an A minor as well. One place in the song there's an A minor. And that's it. So uh, just basically five chords, G, C, D, E minor, and A minor. Okay, the strumming pattern goes like this. So it's six, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so here we go. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You want a little bit of a swing to it. Down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And so, like every once in a while, they'll go to that C and emphasize it. You would go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, that's pretty much it. That's like your basic six-eight strumming pattern you can use on most any song in 6-8. The intro of the song is just G to C, back to G. Well, I search the world. Okay, the verse is G, but C, it couldn't G fill me. Man's empty E minor praise treasures that uh, D fade, but I play it like this. Are never enough C. And it just repeats that. Then you came along G. To C, put me back to G. Together. And every desire E minor is now satisfied D up here. Here in your love C. Now for those Ds, you could play it here. So every desire is now satisfied. Sounds just fine. Here in your love, C. Play it this way or this way. And then you're into the chorus. So I'll sing the verse, show you how it all fits together starting from the intro. I search the world, G, to see, but it couldn't fill me. A man's empty praise treasures the fate I never enough. See, do it again. Then you came along and put me back together. Desire is now satisfied here in your love. 
chorus. Oh, there's G, nothing. This is where I like to use these other versions of G. This would actually technically be a G because both of those notes are in a G major chord, okay? There's nothing better than you to E minor. Oh, there's nothing better than you. There's nothing, C. Nothing is better than you. Chorus is really simple, just G, E minor, C, G. So coming out of the verse into the chorus goes like this. It's now satisfied hearing your love. Chorus. Oh, there's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you, Lord. There's nothing. Nothing is better than you. The turnaround, which would come right after the, the chorus, would be G. And when you hit the C, you would start, that's like the pickup to verse two, I'm not afraid. So it's, nothing is better than G, U. Well, I'm not afraid. Okay, verse two is almost exactly like verse one with one slight change. There's an A minor in it. I'll show you where it comes. So the beginning part of it is, is the same. I'm not afraid is G. Show you my G weakness. This is all the same as verse one. The failures and flaws, E minor. Lord, you've seen them all, D. And you still call me friends, C. Here's where the change comes. Cause the God of the G mountain, and instead of a C here, go to an A minor. Is the God of the valley. Otherwise, it's the same. It's a slight change. If you don't want to do that, you, you don't have to. Uh, just make sure everyone in the band is doing the same thing. But if you're going to play this like to multi-tracks or something, uh, that A minor is in there. The two minor, depending on the key you're in. Uh, in the key of G, A minor is the two minor. Uh, so it's a slight change in the second verse. And then we'll get to the instrumental that will lead us to the bridge, which is sort of the big part of the you turned morning to dancing, you turned graves into gardens, that whole thing. And it's all kind of the same. The, uh, the instrumental section goes like this, G. And then you're gonna emphasize the hits on those C. Okay. I'll keep going. So it's G, two, three, four. Five, six, G, two, three, four, five, six, G. Five, six. Okay, so that's your instrumental section. Right out of that instrumental section, which is the G, C, 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 G, you go right into the uh, the bridge. G, you turn morning to dancing. C, 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 G, you give beauty for ashes. C, 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 G, you turn shame into glory. You hold the G. You're the E minor, only C1 who can G. And then for the second part of the bridge, it's the same way. You turn graves into gardens. C, 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 G. You turn bones into armies. C, 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 G. You turn C's into highways. Stay on the G. You're the E minor, only C1 who G. And then uh, they do those bridges a lot. In the acoustic video I did, I just did the, the there's basically two lyric versions of the bridge, but it's the same musically. Um, I did one and then the second one. If you want to do like the album, you can do, you can repeat them both a couple times. And then at the last time, one who can, hold that G for an extra measure. Oh, there's nothing better than you. Okay, so I'll come out of the chorus, play the instrumental and the bridge. Nothing is better than you. It's better than you. Here's the instrumental. Do it a couple times. Here's the bridge. You turn morning to dancing. You give beauty for ashes. Turn shame into glory. You're the only one who can. 
second part. You turn graves into gardens. You turn bones into armies. You turn seas into highways. You're the only one who can. If you want, actually, there's a tag that comes out of that. Who can? You go to the E minor. You're the only one who can. You just repeat that line. Oh, there's nothing. And then there's like a down chorus, and then it builds back up. Uh, and then it does the bridge again. And then at the end, so they kind of play some different chord progressions to changes through the end. You can only really do what you want. Um, what I did in the acoustic video, you're the only one who can. Two, three, four, five. And then do the hits. I think that feels like a pretty good ending uh, for the song. So that's it. Graves into Gardens is really a pretty simple song. It's just a few chord progressions, a few chords, and that's it. The, the thing about it is if you want to find where you want to do this song as far as what key, I think G is going to work for a lot of, a lot of people. A might be a great key to do if you have a little bit higher voice. Of course, if, if you can do it in the original key, key of B, um, you know, that's got a lot of energy and uh, Brandon Lake really delivers on that, but that's hard to sing uh, that high, especially, so I would sing the bridge, you're the only one who can. That's kind of the highest part of the song. So wherever you can sing that comfortably, that would be the key I would do it in. Personally, I like G. I think if I were leading it, um, or if you were leading it, if you have a voice that's kind of like mine, range-wise, uh, if you're leading it in a large room, which who of us are doing that right now? We're living the quarantine life. I need a haircut so bad. I mean, I, we're, we're into this thing a while now, and who knows how long. It's just going to get taller and taller, and it's going to start to fall over. Uh, but I digress. If you're leading it in a large room whenever we can get back together with a whole bunch of people uh, and you really want some energy, key of A is probably gonna feel good. That might be where I would, would lead it in the key of A. I would warm up well. Links below to see the acoustic video playthrough. Uh, I've linked where you can get chord charts in every key from Essential Music. Uh, all our resources available there. Subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.